we are about to enter 2026 and everything around you is all about AI. We have AI girlfriends, we have AI chatbots, we have AI videos, AI pictures. So why should your browser stay behind? Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and if you're still using Chrome in 2025 and 2026, you need to watch this video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you an amazing new browser which is all about AI and safety at the core. It's called Neo, an AI browser from the antivirus company Norton that you might have already heard about. You can download Neo browser from the link in the description for free and start using it today itself. But in this video, I'll show you the three biggest features of Neo and how it keeps you and your data safe. We'll talk about all of that. I just want you to hit the like button and let's look at Neo. So this right here is Neo browser. You can download it for both Mac and Windows and this is the first screen you will see when you open up the browser itself. The first thing that you need to look at is the magic bar. It is this window right here. The magic bar combines both chat and the web search right at one place. Normally you go on Chrome, you are chatting with ChatGPT, you are searching some news online, you're pasting stuff from one place to another and that is all really messy. You come to Neo browser and you can just chat over here in the magic bar. So you can come in here and you can start with how to start an AI startup. And you will get a reply just like any other AI normally would reply. These are all the steps to do it, but you can also search the web instead. And when you do that, you get all the Google results. Now you go on all the links, you try to find all the content that you want to find and it takes you a lot of time normally. Well here, you can actually get a preview of each link when you are searching for some content. So you go on any link and you would see this button and you can get a preview of any website that you're going to. So even before you open any website, you can get a glimpse of what it looks like from the preview option itself and you can even experiment with it. So um, Uber for maids in India, for example. And you can just try it out like that without even opening the website as such. And if you like this app, you can actually open it up and try using it like so. If I'm finding a software that can convert a link to a QR code, I don't have to open every link myself. I can just get a preview of each site and see if it is actually helping me with the use case. And then if I want to go ahead with it, I can open it up like so. Number two, the biggest problem that you face on Chrome is that there are too many tabs. There are so many tabs that you have to juggle between and you might forget a tab that you opened before you're not able to find the information that you want to. Well, now all of that is taken care with the help of the group tabs that you see here. So Neo browser automatically categorizes every tab that I have opened into different categories. So I have technology, I have automotive, I also have my emails, I have entertainment, and I also have the search open up right here. And then I have the Neo magic bar over here. So this is a great way for you to organize anything that you are searching for. And you don't have to juggle and it's a very efficient experience in general. I can keep opening one, two, three dozens of tabs and it would all be categorized under different categories, making sure that I have everything in place and it's not cluttered at all. Next up is content summarization. So you can be on any page. For example, I can simply open up this Sam Altman startup playbook and I can open up this Neo chat on the side and I can ask it, give me the 80-20 of this page. And I will basically get the most important information from this entire page without even having to read it myself. So normally I would go through this myself and then make notes and then grasp the idea. While now I can just read the summary and get to know the most important ideas. Another use case is on YouTube. So let's say you're watching a video, you want to quickly summarize something. So you can be like summarize this video and you would get the most important ideas from this video right in your chat. And if you have any questions about this video, you can even ask this over here in the chat itself. Say I want to buy a car or any other product. I can open up this page and I can go to Neo chat and I can ask it any question about this product. So what is the mileage of this car? And it has context of this page so it can scan that and give me the important data that I need. And I can even ask it, is it best for Bengaluru roads? and I will get all the data that I want 
because it is connected with this page right here. What else can you do? So for example, I have this BMW X1 page open. I also have the Mercedes Benz GLA page open over here. Now I can go on to Neo magic bar and I can be like compare and I can actually reference the tabs that I have. So I want to compare the GLA with the X1 and tell me which is best value for money. And now this will analyze both the pages, understand both the products and tell me which is the best product to go ahead with. That's how it works. And you can have an entire chat with it right here. What else can you do? Well, let's say you are on your email. So I'm on my email right here. Say I am trying to reply to some people and I want to draft replies. Say I want to reply to this email right here. Now I can go on to reply and I can have a writing assistant who can help me draft replies or create some text really quick without me having to do it myself. So I can basically click over here, um, reply to this email with a gentle tone and ask him to resubmit a month later because the edits are not good. Let's say I want to do that and now it will create an entire draft reply for me to look at and I can just send this email if I want to go ahead with that. I can also change the length of it. I can also change the language. I can also change the tone of this if I want to do that. And I can then proceed and copy this text. This is amazing. If you are on LinkedIn, you want to maybe create a LinkedIn post. Maybe you are on Google Docs. You want a quick text that you can generate and then work on that later. You can efficiently create that all thanks to the Neo browser. And another great thing about Neo is that it understands what you are searching for. And based on that gives you the news that is important to you. So I click on news for you and it gives me the most important articles that I can read, that I can learn from based on the things that I'm searching every single day. Now, a big problem with most browsers out there is that they will collect your data. They will sell it to third parties. If you're using AI chatbots, they will take your data. They will train their model based on it. And Neo does none of that. In fact, when you're chatting with the Neo browser, it doesn't even store all the data on the cloud. It is all stored locally for you on this device itself. And that is what makes it amazing. And with all of that, you get Norton's legacy of protecting people from the malware, from the malicious links, making sure that you are safe when you're browsing, when you're using different links, opening different tabs, interacting with data online, and making sure that you can do all of that with ease. That right there was the Neo browser. We looked at how it can help you with content summarization. It can help you with writing. It can also help you group all the tabs that you are using. It can also help you with just one place to search for topics, search for data, and also ask any questions to AI with the magic bar. That was the new browser. Let me know if you have any questions below in the comment section. You can try it out with the link in the description of this video. Let me know what do you think of it, if you enjoy using it, and what is the use case of Neo Browser for you? If you're a student, if you're a freelancer, if you're a founder or a creator like me, how do you imagine using Neo Browser yourself? That's all from me today. I'll see you in the next video. Hit the like button and subscribe and see you again.